Hello everybody and welcome to the day you all been waiting for the Super Bowl and of course it is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers of course will be the home team versus the Kansas City Chiefs the defending champ but we're gonna find out what Tecmo Super Bowl predicts today and of course it'll be before the Super Bowl this of course will be around uh, noon or one o'clock. I, you, you'll definitely find out. And uh, I'm ready. Of course, uh, the third place game I did last night. But now it's time for the Super Bowl. Here we go. And they most likely have the Kansas City Chiefs as the, yep, the first player. It'd be the other way around if it was. If your Tampa Bay won the toss, well, we're going to pretend Kansas City won the toss and they deferred. Here we go. Miller, Miller is at the 30. Breaking tackles, 40, 50. And all the way in the Chiefs territory. Holy cow, that's a really good field position for the Buccaneers. Brady to Fournette. Fournette is going to get, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yes, he's going to get it. Touchdown, Leonard Fournette. Tampa Bay Buccaneers take the first points of the game. Throws the touchdown pass to Leonard Fournette. So the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are up 7 to nothing. Took the Chiefs to counter that. Hardman to the 20. They start at the 21 yard line. Mahomes gives it to Watkins. Watkins gets six yards on that plate. Second down and four. More than Mahomes is gonna throw. And Kelsey. And Kelsey fumbles. And the Chiefs recover it and get the first down. You know, Travis Kelsey fumbled the ball. Chiefs still recover. And Mahomes is gonna get sacked by Barnett. A seven yard loss on that play, second and 17. Holmes to Williams incomplete. So it's third down and 17. Holmes gives it to Williams. It's definitely not going to be enough for the first down. So the Chiefs will have to punt. And it's gonna be a touchback. Now, of course, when I first did this as a prediction, Tecmo Super Bowl definitely got it wrong. Fournette, surprisingly a good run. Seven yards on that play. Second and three. Fournette is having a, a great, great Super Bowl so far. First down. Brady throws it. Incomplete. Yeah. So Tecmo Super Bowl predicted it was going to be the Pittsburgh Series against the Seattle Seahawks. Seattle winning. And that was a nice throw to Goodwin. And it's going to be another touchdown for the Buccaneers. Another Tom Brady touchdown. Chris Goodwin gets the touchdown this time. By the way, the Tecmo Super Bowl uh, prediction was CLC Hawks versus the Pittsburgh Steelers, and Seattle ended up winning. Uh, fortunately, neither team made the Super Bowl. They lost in the wild card round. The Chiefs are behind 14 to nothing. Mahomes throws it to Hill, gets a big first down. To the 40, to the 30, 
to the 20. He might go all the way. And it's going to be a touchdown. It puts the Chiefs back into the game. Tyree Kill. As time expires in the first quarter, Mahomes throws his first touchdown pass of the game. It is 14 to 7. Chiefs are finally on the scoreboard. They definitely need, needed that touchdown. They start the second quarter. And this time they only get to the 18 yard line. First down. Brady completes to OJ Howard and only gets four yards on that play. Second and six. Brady to Fournette. Fournette has had a great game so far. And he's going to get the first down. Going to get close to midfield. Holy cow. What a big rush by Leonard Fournette. Brady. Gets sacked that time. He got sacked by Willie Gay. A loss of 11 on that play. Second and 21. Fournette. Fournette is going to at least get closer. It's third down at 13. Still not back to line of scrimmage. Leonard Fournette's going to try again. Going to get the first down. Holy cow. Losing 11 yards to gain a first down within a couple of downs. Good win. Another touchdown pass. To him. Tom Brady throws another touchdown. That's his third touchdown pass of the game. Tom Brady has dominated so far over Mahomes. Now we know why he's the go. It's 21 to 7. Hardman to the 20. Oh, he's going to be injured on the play. So Hardman is going to be replaced. And Edward is going to replace him. So it's going to be at the 22nd you know, yard line. Mahomes gives it to Thompson. Thompson. Thompson gets the first down. Gets close to midfield. Chiefs need to get a touchdown here quickly. Still time though. Watkins gets the first down and possibly well, at least to the red zone. Chiefs take a timeout. First down at the 11. Mahomes is going to throw to Watkins. Watkins gets the touchdown. A touchdown pass for Patrick Mahomes. And it's a, now a seven point game. It's 21 to 14. The Buccaneers. Chiefs are at least keeping it a game. One minute to go in the half. First down. Four nets. Gonna get the first down. Gonna get at least to the 36 yard line. Buccaneers take their first timeout. 21 seconds left in the first half. Brady is gonna run with it and he's gonna avoid the sack. He's gonna throw it. Incomplete though. 24 seconds left. Second down and 10. Fournette has the ball. Fournette's not going to get the first down. He's got six yards on that play. Tampa Bay takes their second timeout with 11 seconds left in the second. This should be the last play. Fournette. Fournette's going to be stopped, and that should do it for the half. Kansas City has a shot. And... And so far, it is a pretty close game between the two. So, so far, it is a battle between the two quarterbacks. 
In terms of completion percentage so far, 80% for Patrick Mahomes. Tom Brady has 60, has a completion percentage of 66%. And these are the first half statistics. I probably won't talk about the statistics until the end of the game. So here we go. Halftime. Second half inside the Super Bowl. Edwards has the ball. Kansas City have the first in the second half. First down. Mahomes. He's gonna run with it this time. We're gonna get the first down to the 40. To the 42 yard line it looks like. First down and 10. Mahomes to throw this time. He throws it out of bounds, incomplete. Essentially throws it away. Second down. Mahomes is going to throw to Thompson, incomplete. Third down. Mahomes to Watkins. Watkins gets close to the first down. It's going to be short, though. What will Chiefs are going to try the field goal right here? Will they get it? I don't know about this one. And no, no good. Chiefs tried, so Tampa Bay is going to at least have it near midfield for that. There was a bad uh, field goal in the last game that I watch that was the third place game of course happened again will this hurt the Chiefs that's the question second down and nine Fournette Fournette having a great game so far first down near the red zone first down Fournette is going to get the touchdown not this very play but that's another first down. First and goal at the four-yard line. Fournette is definitely going to get clo closer to the goal line, but just short. Second down. Fournette is going to get the touchdown this time. And puts the Buccaneers back by two scores, most likely. Kansas City is going to have to have a big comeback here in order to win the Super Bowl. Less than two minutes left in the third quarter. What a bounce that was. Edwards gets to the 15 yard line. First down at the 15. Holmes is going to be. S Never mind, not going to be sacked. But it's a big loss on that play of eight. Second down and 18. Going to get near the, the original line of scrimmage. It's third down. Mahomes. He's going to run with that. He's not going to get the first down, though. They're going to have to punt. A lot of mistakes by the Chiefs so far in this game. At times, it's, it cost them. The Buccaneers are going to have good field position. First down. Fournette again. He's having a great day so far in the Super Bowl. So far, he, 
he's one of the possible candidates for Super Bowl MVP, and that's the end of the third quarter. Buccaneers are looking forward, and Brady is going to be sacked this time by Frank Clark. Chiefs need a big stop in the fourth quarter and two scores. Fournette making it hard on the Chiefs to come back. Didn't get the first down, but got quite a bit of uh, a yardage on that place. Third down. And Howard gets the first down, which is not good for the Chiefs. And a fumble. Here's a fumble. Will they get? No, the Buccaneers recovered. If the Chiefs would have recovered, they might have had a shot. Second down and 17. And a sack this time. Chris Jones, six. Tom Brady, third down and 24. They need a big stop here. And they will. Chris Jones sacks Brady again. The question is, with this field goal, will it be enough for the, the Buccaneers to win? And they get it. So now I, now I believe the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will win the Super Bowl, their second ever. Unless Kansas City really comes back from this. Three minutes and 17 seconds left in the game. Mahomes. To run. He's running. Gets the first down. Gets close to the 40 yard line. Kansas City Chiefs take their first time out. They're down 31 to 14. Williams gets the first down. But Chiefs need to take their second time out because they couldn't get out of bounds. They are close to midfield. Mahomes runs it. He gets the first down. And that's not going to be enough. But they've got to start making big plays and fast. Travis Kelsey. Gets the ball, thanks to Patrick Mahomes' throw. He's short of the goal line. He needs more. Chiefs take their final timeout. Mahomes to Williams for the touchdown. Chiefs need onside kicks now. Darrell Williams. And it is 31 to 21. The Chiefs need it to onside kick this thing and hope to get the ball back. And they do not get it. So the Buccaneers can run down the clock and win the Super Bowl. Their second ever. And the question is, will this be it for Tom Brady? He's only one minute and three seconds left from winning this possible, possibly his last Super Bowl. He gets sacked by Frank Clark. 55 seconds left in the game. Tampa Bay can smell it. But Brady's having a tough time here. Avoid, avoiding defenders. Chiefs need big stops and fast. And that should do it. That should put the icing on the cake. Chris Goodwin puts the Patriots up even further, or not the Patriots, the Buccaneers up even further. I'm kind of thinking of uh, Tom Brady being a part of the Patriots. He used to be. 35 seconds left. This could possibly be Tom Brady's last Super Bowl. And there's only three seconds left. This is the last play of the Super Bowl. And that should do it. Tom Brady wins another Super Bowl. Woo! I can't believe it. Kansas City Chiefs got walloped by... Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. 
and I'm going to say it, the MVP of the Super Bowl has to be Leonard Fournette. He kind of crushed this game. If it wasn't for Leonard Fournette, I don't think the Buccaneers would have won this game. Holy cow. So since Brady won this Super Bowl, he has won, I think, six Super Bowls as a result. Not officially, though, but it, that could happen. That, that could happen later in the day. It really could. Tom Brady could be winning another Super Bowl, and, it's, it, and if he does win, obviously this will probably be his last uh, last game as a player. He pro he'll probably retire because he he'll he'll definitely want to end on top. That's why he left the Patriots in the first place because he wanted to to at least get to one more Super Bowl and win it, and at least win on top. We'll see what happens in the real Super Bowl. But that's the prediction. 38 to 21 Buccaneers. They are pre predicting the Buccaneers, but guess what? Even though Tecmo Super Bowl's picking the Buccaneers, I'm picking the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs are a, a way better team than uh, Tecmo Super Bowl even gives it credit for. And I know Tecmo Super Bowl has been wrong on a couple occasions. But that's my that's my prediction. I I'm going to predict the Chiefs, and we will find out who really wins. If Tom Brady does win, it'll probably be his last game. He, he he'll he'll most likely want to end uh, his uh, playing career on top, just like with uh, just like with John Elway. That's what happened with John Elway once. John Elway won uh, one more Super Bowl, he retired. It was the same way with uh, Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning retired on top as well. That's what Tom Brady's trying to do. Alright, for the statistics, okay, Kansas City had a total of 10 runs, Tampa Bay had a total of 17 runs, total yards, Kansas City had 99, Tampa Bay had 231. Passing yards, 187 for Kansas City. Tampa Bay, of course, had 182. Tampa Bay, of course, had the most first downs with 11 to Kansas City's 80. All right, team leaders for runs. Patrick Mahomes ran five times for a total of 55 yards. Leonard Fournette of Tampa Bay ran 17 times for a total of 231 yards, which is really impressive. He was definitely the Super Bowl MVP. Passing yards. Patrick Mahomes went down in completion percentage from 80% to 60%. And he had a total of 187 yards with no interceptions. And Tampa Bay's Tom Brady had a completion percentage of 75%. And a total of 182 passing yards with no interceptions. Receiving yards. Kansas City's Tyreek Hill had one completion for a total of 86 yards, and Chris Goodwin of Tampa Bay had three completions for 127 yards total. Those are your statistics. And Tecmo Super Bowl is picking the Buccaneers. I'm not. I'm really not. Because Tecmo Super Bowl was wrong when it came to the ones that uh, ended up going to the Super Bowl. It wasn't. It, it wasn't the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Seattle Seahawks. It wasn't even close. So I'm not predicting the Buccaneers to win this game. But if they do, Tom Brady's going to retire after this. That's what I think is going to happen. That That's my prediction. If uh, Tom Brady wins, he's going to retire. He wants to end on top. That's, that's the reason why he moved down from the Patriots. Because he thought that the Patriots wasn't wasn't going to be a Super Bowl team and he wants to end on top. We'll see what happens with Tom Brady if he wins this particular Super Bowl. But that's of course the predictions 38 to 21 by uh, Tecmo Super Bowl standards and of course there's one thing left to go and that of course is you guessed it 
I still think the Chiefs are going to win. I'll be surprised if Brady wins this Super Bowl. Please be advised, uh, Tampa Bay has a great defense. I will say that. They have a great defense, so it's going to be tough for the Chiefs to win, but I think the Chiefs' offense is better. And really, I don't think the Chiefs are going to be like the Seattle Seahawks, where they go to a Super Bowl two consecutive years, win one and don't win the other. What I might do someday, I might just play this and play as my team, see if I can win the Super Bowl. By the way, I'm playing this on the NES Classic Edition, so there's going to be a little problem with this. There's one problem with the end. There's one problem with the NES Classic Edition, and that's uh, it has this crappy thing that it, it shouldn't be like that. That's my only problem with the NES Classic Edition. But well, that's it. That is it, folks. Now you know Tecmo Super Bowl's prediction who wins and what the final score is going to be. Alright, folks. So now we know who won. And I thank you all for watching. And uh, I might do this again next year. You never know. But I think what I'm going to go back to, I think I'm going to go back to my uh, regular uh, video game Chronicles videos that I usually do. I'm going to do another gameplay interview eventually. That will become, I still haven't done the first gameplay interview of 2021 yet. I will eventually, will be doing that. Possibly either this month or next month. You'll have to find out. Uh, for right now, I thank you all for watching. And I hope you all enjoyed these fun predictions of of uh, these particular games through Tecmo Super Bowl. Peace out, everybody. Happy gaming. Stay safe and stay awesome.